Welcome back to the True Solutions YouTube channel. In this video, we will walk you through different aspects of the report sections in the True Solutions app. To add a report, you will go ahead in the upper right hand corner, select add, type in the job or select the job that you are wanting, and then go ahead and select the report that you are wanting to fill out. Once the report has been selected, it will pop up on the screen here and you're able to go ahead and fill out the report. There are different types of fields in True Solutions. We like to use picker, pickers, toggles, multi-selects, and even just a plain keyboard. From here, you're able to type in um, a description of items, a report date, phase code information, report preview information, and add any photos as well. You can also add a photo description if you need to in here too. Then we have pre-work surface conditions where you're able to fill out the information and add multiple photos, contract requirements, and observed defects. We like to use the skip logic in here. We are able to fill out the location information and add the sets, fill out the information. Once you have an example would be contamination tested, you can go ahead and select yes. And then another box of information will fill out where you're able to enter in the value information. From there, you can go in and fill out any additional comments, add more photos. We have surface cleanliness information where we can add from um, pause detector or accommodator devices. To add a batch from a Bluetooth connected device, you will follow the directions from the user guide that your account manager sends you. To add a batch, you can select add batch, select the device and import the information into the True Solutions app. Then you can go ahead and modify any information if needed as well. Again, you can add more batch information and it will add the gauge information for you as well. We have environmental conditions where you can add a reading or add from device as well. We have environmental conditions batch where you're able to fill out the information. You can add it manually in here. Full point inspections performed where you can add from a previous report. It will pop up under previous reports in here. You will go ahead and select add that report and then that information or that set will be filled out for you from the most recent previous report that you select. As always, you can go ahead and edit the information in here as well. Then we have wet dry film thickness batch where you can add a batch manually and fill it out. You can add the batch from a device where it will be filled out for you as well. And then through here, we can add calculations, for example, with the spot average. So you add, you could add a location information. You can um, edit the get gauge readings. and then it will calculate the average for you as well. You can add from a batch device or manually. We have wet dry film thickness scan batch. And then lastly, down here at the very bottom, we have remarks and signatures where you're able to add any additional information if needed. You can also add a signature field where you would go ahead and select the type of the person who needs to sign off, their name, the date, and then go ahead in here and select their signature and get hand them the iPad and they can scroll their signature. Lastly, down here at the bottom, we have any associated documents. So anything in a PDF form that's uploaded to the True Solutions app, will be able to add to the associated documents in here. You can also add any photo information as well. So I can click add photo, add from camera, And then I can actually go ahead and click edit document and mark up this document if I need to. So once we have the document uploaded or the picture uploaded, you'll see different keys at the top where I'm able to go ahead and circle things if I need to, highlight if there's any words on here, 
measure anything, add text, add any additional information, change the color if I need to. And then lastly, if there's any issues that need to be reported, I can go ahead and create an issue by selecting the three dots with the three lines in the middle. And from here, I can go ahead and add an issue, which will be talked about in a different video. Once I've gone ahead and completed the document and marked it up, I can actually go ahead and either add a tag in the upper right hand corner, or I can go ahead and submit the document if I need to for any management to go ahead and review my report and then go ahead and approve the report as well. As always, feel free to reach out to support at truesolutions.com if you have any additional questions.